so welcome back to the channel guys and uh, we're going to do a bit more on the Volvo now if you remember last time uh, I was doing a bit more on the sill on the uh, sorry on the on the rear arch um, so now what I want to do is filler it smooth it off and start to make it look a little bit better because that ropey welding doesn't look great So you can actually see I've been giving a, this a go already. So this is a bit of filler. So I'm using this, the uh, Isopon P38 Repair Multi-Purpose Body Filler. It's a two-parter. You mix one and the other together, and then you can spread it on. And then what I'm going to do is I've got this, which is a pack of different grit sandpaper so I can work my way through and hopefully get it smoothed off. Now that's feeling quite smooth but if I take you in a bit closer you'll probably see, it's quite difficult with it being so sunny, that it's a bit lumpy and bumpy. So what I want to do is smooth over that. Obviously these are the key bits as well where the welding's terrible but it's holding. Basically cover that over, smooth it off and then we should end up with something that looks half reasonable maybe so let's go and mix the filler and we'll give this a go what I'll do is we'll uh, we'll get some of this what I'm going to do mix it onto a bit of cardboard and um, we'll see how we get on with this so. now I have used this before and I found actually you only use a tiny amount of hardener on it because um, when I did this last time it started to harden really quite quickly just get something to open that handy chisel There we go that's it mixed together so let's go and start spreading it on the car and see how it goes on
Well there we go, um, this stuff sets really quite fast. I was finding it was starting to set before I'd even finished. So you can see there's a few thick patches on here, but with the sandpaper we should be able to sort that out. And uh, hopefully that'll work out. So we're going to leave that to dry. It shouldn't take long because it's warming up quite nicely. Let that dry, then let's get the sandpaper on and see what we can do. I've given it plenty of time, it's a nice warm day, so what I'm starting to do is I'm using this, first of all, the 80 grit sandpaper, just to take off the really rough stuff, just off the top, and then I think we're going to go to a lower, uh, a larger number grit, which is finer. quite a bit off. I can feel it quite smooth now, which is good. Um, so I think now, let's uh, let's jump a bit. Let's try 150. I'm not really sure what the best the best stages to do here are, but. Uh, I'll just keep going like this and see how how it goes. If the sandpaper clogs up too quick, then I know that I'm going too fine too soon. But hopefully, smooth that. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. And now I'm going to go one more grit, I think. So that was 150. Let's jump up to 400, just to really smooth that edge off delicately. And I think that should that should do what I want. I'm hoping so anyway. So like I say, it's all a bit of a guessing game this, so let's go with the, the 400 and just try to smooth the edge off.
So there we are, another coat of primer on there just to smooth things over and also cover the little bits of metal that I've exposed. Don't want those to start rusting, that kind of thing. It's still a bit rough and ready, it's not as smooth as I'd like. Um, so I don't know whether I need another filler and more sanding or I'm not quite sure. But uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll leave it at that and we'll see what happens next time. So thank you so much for watching the videos. More on the channel very very soon indeed don't forget to uh, to click the subscribe and the like down the bottom it really does help me out with the channel helps me uh, helps me get motivation to do this and also buy the parts i need the spray cans the the sandpaper all that kind of stuff so really do appreciate anyone subscribing hitting like or commenting on these videos don't forget t-shirt t-shirts and jumpers are available as well take a look at the links down below but otherwise i'll see you in the next video fingers crossed we can almost get this arch finished off that would be great news